stream it all. For a link to the PDF version of these instructions, check down below in the description. The Roman bathtub raised garden bed requires six two-foot boards and two four-foot boards bracketed with stacking brackets per level. For a full list of parts required for each level, as well as cubic soil required for each level, check down below in the description. To connect your boards and brackets, take a bracket and slide one onto either end of your board until the snap lock hole is lined up. Once you have the hole lined up, take one of your snap lock plugs and lay it flat onto that opening. Then with the palm of your hand, apply firm pressure until you hear a click. Now flip the board around and repeat this step on the other side. If you're having trouble installing the snap lock plugs by hand, you can also use a hammer or mallet to install them. If you think that you've installed your bracket in the wrong orientation and you need to remove it and flip it around, you can do so using a flathead screwdriver. Take the flathead screwdriver and insert it into the opening on either side of the snap lock plug. Insert it and apply firm pressure into the snap lock plug and then twist up. Then flip it around again and repeat this step. Firm pressure into the nub and twist up. Now you can remove your bracket and flip it around. When connecting the boards and brackets for your design, make sure to connect the brackets on either end in alternating fashion. On this side, we have a bracket sleeve that's in the down position, and on the other side, have the bracket in the up position. For hard surface installation, you can use a hacksaw to cut off the part of the stake that inserts into the ground. Lay out six two-foot boards and two four-foot boards flat on the ground in the shape of your frame. This will give you a good idea of what the footprint of your raised garden bed will be. Connect the boards of the base level of your frame using stacking stakes inserted into the joints upside down. This will allow you to make adjustments to that base level shape by allowing the boards to slide freely along the ground. Once you've made the final adjustments to your frame, flip over your stacking stakes and hammer them into the ground. If you're building a single level design, at this point you would install your finishing caps and your frame would be complete. For all multi-level designs, Stack an additional six two-foot boards as well as two four-foot boards per level and secure those with stacking stakes that will insert into the top of your ground level stake.
With the final level of your design complete, the last step is to install your finishing caps onto each of the eight joints, and then you're ready to fill it with soil and start planting. If you're having trouble with animals getting into your garden during the growing season, check down below in the description for our two foot and four foot animal barrier. If you have any questions on this instructional video, please email us at support at frameitall.com. Frame it all.